shit, it is you guys. Oh. Who did, who is this meeting supposed to be with? <laughs> oh, this I was I invited my mom. So did we, Natalie. She's here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, so a little while ago, Natalie and I got an email from Rhett and Link, who are two of my favorite creators, and honestly, like, two of my heroes when it comes to building a creative business. We're back. Oh, it's got a refreshingness to it. They wrote us an email, and they asked us to, um, well, it's not gonna make sense what they asked us to do until I give you some context. Let's go back to 2014. Yeah. This is it, right here. Back then, Pablo Luis was working on a new album. I had literally just launched Patreon the year before. How are we going? <laughs> and Rhett and Link's show, Good Mythical Morning, was becoming like the biggest Frickin' show on the internet. Good mythical morning! Thank you for joining us today. Will it taco? <laughs> <laughs> this is totally natural. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's talk about that. And the theme song that you're hearing right now, this theme song, was the introduction to their show, but it was stock audio from a music library, and that became kind of a problem for them. We started noticing that it came up in other places. People started using it they're elsewhere like, and like, you, they stole your song, and they're like, uh, it's a music library. So that was when we realized we, we need our own theme song. We should probably have our own theme song. And right when they realized they needed their own theme song, we happened to meet them at a conference in Orlando called Playlist Live, and they invited us upstairs to the room to do an episode of their podcast with them. We're, we're not half the artists you are, and that's why we're talking to you. <laughs> I beg to differ, but uh, I don't know. At a certain point, it was like, and hey, do you, what do you think about writing our theme song for Good Mythical Morning? And I was pretty pumped that they wanted us to write the theme song for the biggest freaking show on the internet. And so we did, and it sounded like this. Now that melody is synonymous with Good Mythical Morning, we're never going to depart from it. Now we've done a couple of different versions based on that first Papa Moose, you know, iteration. But for the 10th anniversary, we're going back to the source. So fast forward to about six months ago, Rhett and Link write us an email and it says, We're approaching our 10 year anniversary of Good Mythical Morning in January and we wanted to reach out to see if you'd be at all interested in revamping the original theme song you composed for us way back in 2014. I think we should do it. <laughs> it's fun to see some faces that I have spent many, many hours watching. Mostly Chase. <laughs> We're freaking pumped. Um, excited to hear like what's on your mind, you know, what you want it to sound like, what you want it to feel like. The overall thought is that this is a mythical morning routine that we're watching in a series of top-down shots. And I do have an animatic just to give a nice kind of visual. We want to shoot it all practically, uh, mythicalized, etc. That's awesome. Yeah. What are you thinking of uh, from a from a musical standpoint? So definitely, we want to continue off of the original um, Pomplamoose intro that you guys did for us. But the we want to go for more of like an orchestral kind of feel, something maybe a little indie. So like we want something that's more homemade, organic, raw, live, orchestral, less distorted, amped, electronic. Is that the kind of bifurcation that makes sense? Hundred percent. Rock out. Thanks, guys. Okay, so Pompomus is gonna rewrite the theme song. The Good Mythical Morning team is gonna build the set for the visual part of the intro. And all this is gonna happen at the same time, but nobody's gonna know what it looks like or sounds like until the very end of the process when it all comes together. It's like we're building this Pompomythical airplane and flying it at the same time. I'm gonna go to the studio to get started. The theme is Ba 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 That's it. And one thing that makes it really difficult is it's seven seconds. So it's got to like swell and hit all these moments in seven seconds. And that's just, uh, that's a really short time. So I'm thinking I'm going to do like dun da gun dun da gun da 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 Something like that. Um, that's kind of the first version that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and knock out four versions today, I think. This is a train car. 
that's got a bunch of little small breakfast items on it. The idea started, Rhett and Link said that they wanted to do something that was shot practically with real elements, live action, and then they wanted to do an homage to that very first visual from the GMM season one intro. When you first see the shot, you should immediately think, that's a kitchen table. And then after that, you can think, oh, and it's also a forest, and like all that other stuff comes after. But the first thing is, it's a kitchen table. So yeah, all of the pieces are here, and they're all mythically miniature worlds. I'm at the part of the process where I'm going crazy. This one is, the, the taking the melody is this kind of uh, bowed mandola instrument, which is this thing. And I recorded eight versions of me playing that. That's doubling with guitars. Bass, who sings this cool ping sound. Just this guy. And if you put all that together. Yeah, I think that's that's version one, and I'll now I'm gonna work on version two. This drum sounds amazing. Then it moves to our bathroom scene, and we thought a lot of it as like a cityscape because you've got things like the grid of the waffle pattern, tall bottles and cans and stuff that go in a bathroom that can act as skyscrapers. All right, I just finished the second version. Did a lot of bowing, plucked a bunch of shit. String orchestral sort of sound. Played a bunch of drum. Move that. Drum from the 20s. And here's, here's what it's sounding like. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I think it sounds kind of indie-ish and fun and orchestral and I'm gonna start in the third one now. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the third one. I think maybe kind of like an indie rock thing. Like a more up-tempo kind of dancey sort of, but like indie dancey kind of thing. That's what I'm gonna try. <laughs> and then we have number three here, which it looks like this is the desk one. So you've got things like little windmills. This pad of paper becomes a rock bluff. The cockatrice is right here in frame, so you get this like wood carvings and wood tools that then blends into our last shot. All right, I'm at this funky stage in the creative process here. It's five o'clock and... It's just meh. Take out the bass and try new chords, keep those drums. I don't know, I'm not into the drums either. It's just kind of boring. All right, all right, all right. I got two done today. I feel fine. I made four, but two of them are totally unusable. It's okay. All right. Day two of GMM. I'm ready. I got four yesterday. I got two good ones, one, one good one, one okay one, and then two bad ones. I'm gonna try whistling. Okay, I got my drum pattern. Check this out. And then the second half is gonna be orchestra. And I think that's just gonna build really nice to me. Really fun. I've, I'm really into that. I like that this guy, he's walking up to the edge. Mm -hmm. Like he's sitting, like he's looking mm -hmm. at the sights. Look at the shadow he throws though. That's cool. Okay, do the next one? Yeah. Oh, it's so cool, it's great. First shot of the day, Ben. This one be nice and easy. Second one, kind of the same deal. The third one is a tricky one. Okay, so Ben Rose just <laughs> sent us this file. It's making eggs. 
So I'm gonna put it in the background and make it sound like old scratchy cassette tape vinyl kind of sounds. I'm loving this. Can't wait. I figured maybe a way to do this is just go through them one by one and listen and talk about them. I like the organic nature of whistling. I think the other ones, they're probably just a little too chill. I sampled a Rhett and Link super note. That's Link going, oh, and then I used this thing to just capture it. We're gonna come in towards this crop circle and we're gonna tilt up towards the cockatrice. But because of that, Nick and I have marked out fractions of fractions of centimeters. Let's do it. Future uh, fractions of fractions of centimeters is fractions of millimeters. Ooh. Damn. And you know what? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> very hard to do things in seven seconds. That's kind of how our show is. It's like an organized chaos. Maybe what I can do is make the timpani cut through a bit more. The one thing that we haven't done on the mythical end was share your works in progress with Rhett Link. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. my god. Okay, I think we're finally done. There's been a lot of back and forth, but I think we have a final version, and now there's one more step to go, which is to play Rhett and Link their new theme song, which they have not yet heard. So I hope they like it. How's it going? How you doing? Yeah. I'm excited. This has been weeks in the making here. Yeah, we've heard good things from the team, and they've they've heard iterations. You've been talking to them. But, but we've like, purposely we purposely kept ourselves in the dark. Okay, why don't, why don't you listen to it? All right, we're, we're gonna play it. <laughs> it's too short. <laughs> what, that's only seven seconds? I, I love the vibe. We're definitely in the right vibe space. Rad, I'll tell you one fun little nugget about it. So the melody of the new song is you and a fan singing super notes sampled on a Casio SK-1 keyboard. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad that you know about that. I mean, I, I did way more research on you guys than I care to admit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, it's good to see you guys. Bye guys. Thank Bye. you. Which nation was this bacon taken? Let's talk about that. It's finally finished. And here are the final stats. We made seven versions. There were four rounds of feedback from the GMM team, 172 hours of video recording and mixing, 142 layers of audio, 69 emails sent back and forth between Pomp Moose and the GMM team, all for seven seconds of music. Oh.